I got a phone call from our local division member, Tracy Hughes. I'm gonna go say good day to Tracy, talk to her about a few things, check out this men's shed, and um, let's get stuck into it. I've just met some really lovely people down here at the men's shed. I caught up with Tracy. You know, I think this area has done the right job voting her in. She's she's all for making this area a better place for all of us. I'm gonna go and show you guys today something I'm pretty devastated about. Let's go check out what I found. I've called the council about the rubbish to try and get the creek fixed up to try and help the wildlife of this area. And inadvertently, I've managed to get all the bees wiped out that were living in that couch. The council guys were tripping around trying to find the rubbish that I was talking about. They spotted this couch, they thought it was wasps, and they've sprayed all of the bees. So not only have they just sprayed all of the bees and killed all the bees, anything that comes along that tries to eat these bees because they're dead is also going to get poisoned. It's a chain and then when the lizards or things like this eat the bees, then the birds die when they eat the dead lizards. So we've got to stop the poisoning of animals. Yeah, bees can be a threat. Bees can be a really big threat to allergic people. But the good they do for our planet and for us, it, it outweighs the bad that they do by... You can't even give it a percentage how much the good they do for us outweighs what bad they do. So instead of letting all of these bees' deaths be in vain, I'll take the couch home, let's cut it up and see how they built their home inside it. Looks like the ants have um, already moved in. I can see that there's honeycomb inside it. So um, I'll get the saber saw and let's cut into it and have a look. This is what the bees had built up inside this couch. This is uh, what was inside. Wow. They have done some serious work in here to build all of this. All new ones. All been killed off, the flies are already in there. This is what got decimated. It would have been probably quite easy to have accessed this and removed the bees without killing them. And uh, the other day in my 
video where I got nailed by some of these guys. I said that they were European bees. These are actually an Australian native bee as well. They weren't European introduced. They were ones that are supposed to be here. They have a purpose. So, well, at least we got to see what was inside it. If any of you who watch this video ever come across a beehive in your yard, even in your car, please just look on Gumtree, find a bee removalist, give them a call, and they'll come out, they'll assess it, they'll get rid of the bees without killing them. I'm going to be trying to get some awareness out of species of bees and stuff that are in these areas and the random places that they can actually be found and hopefully stop this from happening in the future because um, with this video and me documenting all of this these guys deaths may just save heaps of other bees